Welcome back. We reacting to Kurza Gats. I think I said it right. Let's get straight to it. The observable universe is a big place that's been around for more than 13 billion years. Up to 2 trillion galaxies made up of something like 20,000 billion billion stars surround our home galaxy. In the Milky Way alone, scientists assume there are some 40 billion Earth-like planets in the habitable zone of their stars. When we look at these numbers, it's hard to imagine that there is nobody else out there. It would change our perception of ourselves forever if we found others. Just knowing that this vast place is not dead would shift our perspective outwards and could help us get over our irrelevant quarrels. But before looking for our new best friends or worst enemies, we have a problem to solve. What are we actually if we found aliens, that would be cool and scary. Actually huh? looking for. That's cool. In a universe that big and old, we have to assume that civilizations start millions of years apart from each other and develop in different directions and speeds. So, not only are we looking over distances of dozens to hundreds of thousands of light years, we're looking for a civilization ranging from cavemen to super advanced. So, we need a conceptual framework to enable us to think better thoughts that make us able to search better. Are there universal rules that intelligent species follow? Currently, our civilization... I know. We, I, think, I think we are 0.00.7. 0 .00 0 0.7 cause we haven't um, harnessed all the resources on our planet I think sample size is only one so we may make incorrect assumptions based solely on ourselves still better than nothing we know that humans started out with nothing but minds and hands that could build tools we know that humans are curious competitive greedy for resources and expansionist the more of these qualities our ancestors had, the more successful they were in the civilization building game. Being one with nature is nice, but it's not the path to irrigation systems or gunpowder or cities. So it's reasonable to assume that aliens able to take over their home planet also have these qualities. And if aliens had to live greedy and expansionist, the next reasonable step towards transitioning to Type 2 is trying to alter and mine other planets and bodies. So technically we skipping that because we are already about to um, go to Mars. Well, Elon Musk said 20, 20, 30. And well, what's the ship called? Star, 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 Down. Starship, Starlink. It's one of them. And then oh, it was SN10. They landed it. I, I know I saw that. But it exploded after. That shit was cool though. It landed. It landed. So that that's cool as hell. This might start with outposts in space, transition to infrastructure and industries near the home planet, move on to colonies, and end with terraforming other planets by changing their atmosphere, their rotation, or position. As a civilization expands and uses more and more stuff and space, its energy consumption scales with them. So, at some point, they may embark on the largest project a lower Type 2 civilization can take on, harnessing the energy of their star by building a Dyson Swarm. Once this megastructure is finished, energy has become practically unlimited for molding the home system however they see fit. If they are still curious, competitive, greedy and expansionist, and now have complete control over their home system, stellar infrastructure in place, and the energy output of a star, the next frontier moves to other stars light years away. For a Type II civilization, the distance to other stars might feel like the distance between Earth and Pluto does to us today. Technically within reach, but only with immense investments in terms of time, ingenuity and resources. This begins their transition towards Type 3. Damn, I'm kind of salty, bro. If we do make it to those stages, I'm going to be dead by then. Fucking dead. Fuck. 
This step is so far beyond us that it becomes hard to imagine what exactly these challenges will look like and how they'll be solved. Will they be able to find a solution to the vast distances and travel times of hundreds or thousands of years? Will they be able to communicate and keep a shared culture and biology between colonies light years apart? Or will they split into separate Type II civilizations? Maybe even different species? Are there deadly challenges between the stars? <laughs> so the closer a species gets to Type III, the harder it becomes to fathom what it might actually look like. They might discover new physics, may understand and control dark matter and energy, or be able to travel faster than light. We might be unable to grasp their motives, technology and actions. Humans are the ants, trying to understand the galactic metropolitan area. A high Type II civilization might already consider humanity too primitive to even talk to. A Type III civilization might feel about us like we feel about the bacteria living on the anthill. Maybe they wouldn't even consider us conscious or our survival relevant. We could only pray that they're nice gods. But the scale doesn't necessarily end here. Some scientists suggest there might be Type 4 and Type 5 civilizations whose influence stretches over galaxy clusters or superclusters, structures comprising thousands of galaxies and trillions of stars. Ultimately, there might be a Type Omega civilization, able to manipulate the entire universe and possibly others. Type Omega civilizations might be the actual creators of our universe for reasons beyond our comprehension. That's Maybe cool. they were just bored. As flawed as this classification Damn. may be. If, if, they, if that's true and if they was like just bored and it created all of this, that's cool as fuck. And they was fucking bored. This thought experiment is already telling us interesting things. If our ideas about the nature of species that form interstellar civilizations is sort of correct, then we can be pretty sure that there are no civilizations of type 3 and beyond near the Milky Way. Their influence would in all likelihood be so all-encompassing and their technology so far above our own that we couldn't miss them. The galaxy should flash with their activity in thousands of star systems. We should be able to see or detect their art of- Crazy, bro. Like, if a type, fuck yeah, a type 2, and uh, if they want our resources, they could take that. And we can't do nothing about it. Lots and lots of posters to turn your dorm or room into an inspiring oasis of knowledge. We have new shirts and, for the first time, a Kurzgesagt Earth Sweater. All of these products are designed and produced with love by the Kurzgesagt Merch Burbs. Our merch is the easiest way to support what we do and keep our videos free for everyone. Thank I you like for watching. Merch. Damn, bro. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy, bro. But then I can't, I really can't say shit because I don't be dead by then. That's some bullshit. Like, subscribe, comment, and damn, I don't be dice off here. The ultimate prescription. I'm better watch that next. But, um, but damn, I can't believe that. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment.